Leroy's Pokemon Sapphire Walkthrough Part 42. Alright guys, we're back here in Route 120, and we're gonna um, move on this time, but I think we're actually gonna fight this trainer. Dot 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 dot, want to battle? Yeah, I said last time I wasn't gonna battle him, but I guess I might anyways, just for the experience. But yeah, this right here is a bug maniac, like, not just a bug catcher, but he's a bug maniac, and he has um, Surskits on his team. Now, Surskits are kind of weird Pokemon. They're bug and water type, which is an odd typing. But I always thought uh, Surskits were spiders, but they only have four legs, so I don't really know what the heck they are. Um, leave a comment if you know. I'm just too lazy to look it up. So you guys can all look it up and leave comments. Um, so yeah, Surskit, I don't know. It's definitely some kind of bug, but I don't know what kind of bug it is. And it just has some random yellow things sticking out the top of its head. And it can somehow use water type moves. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah. We can call him all a Thunderbolt, though. And Surskit evolves into a um, different Pokemon. It's like, it's a really, I don't know, the Pokemon isn't really that good. It's called, I can't really pronounce it that well. I think it's called, like, Ma I know what it's called, but I just can't pronounce it. It's like Mascarin or something. And it's not, it loses its typing, so it's kind of weird, but I don't know. I never really liked using those Pokemon that much because I never thought they worked that well. But yeah, it loses its water typing, then becomes bug and flying, so I don't know. I guess it's alright, but it's not great. Dot, 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 I lost. What's with all these dot, dot, dots? Anyways, um, you can actually rematch that trainer, and then if you fight him five times, he will give you an item. I don't really remember what it is right now. It's like, ah, uh, it'll come back to me, it'll come back to me. But yeah, there's a Hyper Potion right there. And guess what, guys? We are finally out of Route 120, and now we're in Route 121. So yeah, it never really ends, does it? <laughs> so we're gonna move over to Jelly Belly and continue along fighting this person. There are powers beyond our understanding in the world. Yeah, um, anyways, this is a crazy witch lady. Like, why would you walk around dressed like a witch, holding, like, a little, like, I don't even know what, she's holding, like, some weird, one of those, like, fortune things in her hand, like, I'm pretty sure, like, in real life, if you walked around, like, dressed as a witch, you would get, like, burnt alive or something. It'd be, like, the Hoenn Witchcraft Trials. Uh, if you guys have any idea what I'm talking about, the Salem Witchcraft Trials, the Hoenn Witchcraft Trials, I don't know. Some of you will think it's funny. Anyways, this is a Duskull right here. I think this is the first time we've seen it. Um, it's a ghost type. You can actually find it in this route. I'll get to that in a minute, but it's a pretty good defensive Pokemon. But yeah, in Route 121, the new Pokemon, um, you can find Gloom. Well, I guess you could find Oddish before, but now you can find it's evolved form Gloom. And if, um, Duskull, you can find that in here, but that's only if you're playing Ruby version. And you can also find Shuppet if you're playing Emerald or Sapphire. Anyways, I'm gonna switch up here, and we're gonna fight this trainer. Stop! Have a good look at my precious Pokemon! Yes, your super precious Pokemon! That are so much better than all the other Pokemon in the world! Um, but yeah, if you're looking for ghost types on your team, now's a great place to look. Um, Shuppet is, um, Sapphire and Emerald only. And that's more offensive-based. Um, Duskull, like I said, is more defensive-based. And that's only in Ruby, so... You can't find them both in each game, but you can find one or the other. And both of them are pretty good, in my opinion. And yeah, we killed this Kecleon. And we've seen a lot of Kecleons in this route because of the Deven scope and stuff. And Goron's at level 30, so that's our second Pokemon to get to level 30. And we've got a Viper, um, so let's go to Tambora. Uh, yeah, so Viper's actually kind of rare, but it's a poison type, so it's going to be weak to Magnitude, so let's go ahead and use that. Oh, Crunch, hopefully that doesn't kill me. Because <laughs> Viper actually has pretty good attack. Whoa, we got three hit points! Yeah, Magnitude 10! Wow! That is so lucky! That's the first time I've gotten Magnitude 10 this game. That's easily gonna kill it. Okay, let's see. That's 150 base power. That's 50% more powerful than Earthquake. That is awesome. That is like a hyper beam. That's how powerful it is. That's the awesome thing about Magnitude. Every once in a while, you will get Magnitude 10, and it's like the best feeling. Anyways, let's cut out and cut... Yeah, get these berries. Whew, <sighs> finally cut scene. Justo berries. This scene is gonna get cut out of the video. So I can say whatever I want, and it won't be on the real video on YouTube. No, you are hearing me right now. It'll be oh, my phone's ringing. Yeah, whatever. Anyways, we are picking berries, and it's gonna get cut out of the video. I should leave that in there just for fun. I was gonna cut that out, but I'm thinking I'm just gonna leave that in there. Anyways, let's continue along here, and let's actually spray a repel right now. Um, yeah. I think I'm gonna leave that part- Oh wait! Ooh, it's Team Aqua. And they're going to Mount Pyre, like, didn't we just see Team Aqua, like, right before Fortree City, but they're already back. Anyways, yeah, they went down to Mount Pyre. That's something we'll be doing later. Anyways, let's cut down this tree and see what's over here. Might be an item or something. 
And, oh no, it's just a secret base. Alright. Never mind, you don't need to go over there. So, we got a double battle right here, and since Tambor is almost dead, we're going to switch up a bit. Um, so let's try out Jelly Belly. Yeah, Jelly Belly and Goron, that should work fine. So, let's go ahead and do this double battle. Together, we're fearless. We'll demonstrate how tough we are. Alright, so, uh, classic double battle with those two girls, Senior and Junior. And they've got a Spida and a Slacking. Those Pokemon really don't go together at all. It's like a giant hairy beast and a little teddy bear. Except Spinda really freaks me out. I don't know about you guys, but like, look at it. It's like a little evil teddy bear. Like, and look at its eyes. It doesn't even have eyes. It just has like, s like a swirling line. It's like, ugh, it freaks me out. Um, anyway. Oh, Psybeam! Dang it, that's super effective. Wow, don't just be smart and use the right move. <laughs> Trainers aren't supposed to do that. Everyone knows. Anyways, um, yeah, Spinna, like, wouldn't it be so freaky to see a little teddy bear, like, walking around with those eyes? It would, like, just, oh my god, that'd be so scary. And yay, Supersonic Mist! Um, oh wow, another super effective move. Wow, Psybeam's super effective on both of them. Or oh, whatever. Usually the trainers are too stupid to use a super effective move, so yeah. We're just gonna kill this teddy bear. And that leaves just Slacking, who it shouldn't be too hard since it's two-on-one. Um, yeah, Vital Throw's probably gonna kill it. Oh no, don't just use Slack Off! Dang it. Yeah, I can use that move in Heal, which sucks because it has a lot of HP. Now ah, whatever. This might come close to killing it, I don't know. Ugh, close, okay. So, um, let's just use that and Surf will probably kill it anyways. Haha, <laughs> you're luffing around. You can't do anything about it, and now you're dead. Alright, there we go, we killed the people. Senior and Junior, that's what they are. I wonder why, like, all the double battles, they all always only have two Pokemon. Like, there's never, like, four Pokemon in the battle, but whatever. Anyways, this right here is the Safari Zone. Now, um, what's kind of weird, the Safari Zone is just, like, in the middle of the route. It's usually in a city, but this one's just in the right, right in the middle of Route 121. But the Safari Zone, if you don't know, you pay to go inside. Then you can basically catch all the Pokemon you want. There's tons of rare Pokemon. Um, I'm going to put a link in the um, info bar. I'm um, showing you all the info about the Safari Zone, like all the Pokemon you can catch and stuff, just because there's so much information, I can't really go over it right now. But anyways, we're going to switch over to um, Tambora up here, I think. And we're going to heal him up too, because I can use him in this or these next two battles. Um, but yeah, the Safari Zone, awesome place, you can catch a lot of rare Pokemon, so go in there if you're looking for new team members, and check out the link so you can see all the Pokemon you can catch in there. And anyways, this guy right here, don't ask me how I know this, but this guy's name is Gentleman Walter. And he has one Manectric on his team. I don't know why, but for some reason I always just remember this one dude in the game, Gentleman Walter. Like, I don't know why, Every I just somehow remember this one dude. And there's actually a funny story behind it because, um, let's just use Magnitude. Yeah, there's a funny story behind it. Um, oh wow, Magnitude 5. That's what I get for getting Magnitude 10, I just get Magnitude 5. But yeah, the story was like, one time we were on like a school field trip. Oh dang, Roar, that's gonna make me switch out. Okay, let me get to the story. We are on a school field trip, so we're driving on a bus, and then everyone always brings their Game Boys and plays Pokemon just because, you know, that's what people do on bus trips and stuff. So, um, someone was playing their game, and they were fight- I saw them fighting this dude, and I was like, are you fighting Gentleman Walter? And they just gave me a weird look, they're like, yeah, how do you know that? I was just like, don't ask. <laughs> but it's just funny, anyways. I looked like the biggest nerd, probably. And there's a Carbos, which you can sell for a ton of money. But yeah, I just somehow always remember Gentleman Walter with the Manectric right there. I don't know why, just the weirdest thing. Anyways, um, this is the last trainer here in the route, actually, so yeah, we're actually getting pretty close to the next city. And this lady is Pokefan Vanessa. She has one Pikachu on her team. Alright, oh yeah, and you can actually catch Pikachu in the Safari Zone, in case you want to add one of those on your team. That's one of the Pokemon you can catch there. And, oh, Magnitude 4, yeah, once you get Magnitude 10, you're just gonna, I just, of course, get Magnitude 5 and 4 right afterwards. Um, oh, don't just be a noob and use Double Team, wow. You suck, Pikachu. <laughs> uh, hopefully... Whoa! Ma no, I missed! I got so excited I couldn't even say anything because I got another Magnitude 10. I was like, oh my god. But then, oh, I had to miss, of course. Yeah. Yes! Magnitude 10 again! Yes, it hit! Wow, are you serious? Two Magnitude 10s in a row? I got three in one video. Okay, that is pure skill. I don't care what you say. It is pure skill if you get that lucky three times in one video. <laughs> Oh, wow. I can't believe we got three Magnitude 10s in one video. We hadn't gotten one the entire game, then we just get three in one video. Anyways, that is it for the route, guys. We are here in 
Uh, Lily Cove City in a repel war off, but it doesn't matter. So yeah, guys, we have a ton of stuff to do coming up. So just make sure you stay tuned for the next few videos. We're going to be doing a lot of stuff, so I will see you all next time. I can say whatever I want, and it won't be on the real video.